who comes to you and first proposes the Beauty and the Beast angle? Strongbow. I mean, through Vince. It was Vince's idea, but Strongbow came and says, I got this idea. So he's going to be this. He said, I do better than that. And he wanted to do this. And I said, yeah, we could do that. It could be fun. And uh, it just was a real natural thing. First of all, Elizabeth was really good candy to look at. She's a nice looking gal. Randy is very, very jealous. That's for real. Mm -hmm. So it was just a natural thing uh, that, that was going to work. And uh, so when I went out and gave her the flowers, and she didn't know what to do with it. She'd played it so well. And then Randy jumped off, and then you know the rest of it just took off. It was, it was, it was a, a great run, except it was very difficult every night. Well, that's what run. I was to say. Working with Savage always has difficulties for people. Tell me about the, the difficulties you first encountered. Maybe when he came up to you with a pile of paper. Well, that was later on. This, this is the, the beginning. Then we. This is the beginning of the. the yeah, okay, the theme, he came. Yeah. Then we do a Saturday Night Main event where where it really started, but he. Uh, I knew Randy as a little boy. I knew his dad. He worked with his dad in Detroit way back when, so I've known him a long time. I have a lot of respect for Randy. First of all, he's got a tremendous work ethic. He works hard. The, the world was changing. I called it as a, uh, as a ring turns, and uh, the business was becoming very different, and uh, I'm old school. I mean, I never, we never, I never knew what I was going to do in the ring until I did it, uh, which I think is the best way to work back then, and Randy was coming in this where you do a lot of talking in the locker room, and he had everything pretty much laid out before you went to the match. Go to step A to step B to step three. That's not me at all. So uh, we had trouble waters coming. Right. You could see it coming. And we get to Tampa for the Saturday night main event show. And uh, that's probably the following week or so. Uh, he comes in. He's got this list like you got here. I, I want to throw him like, he would, like I did. But he's, he's, give me this here. he's got the match written out. I look at it and I take the first one. It's on a uh, wired... Uh, notebook, I rip it off and I rip it up and I throw it in the garbage. As I did that, I went, ugh. Took the second one, ugh. Third, fourth, fifth one, finally he said, I said, uh, just listen to me, kid, we'll have a good match. And he was like, ugh. <laughs> he was, and these were all spots. Oh, there's a whole match, move. not just spots, it's a whole damn match. We're going to walk through this thing like a dance, which I couldn't do anyhow, I'm not that smart, I'm not going to memorize it, and I, I, I didn't have a clue. So, uh, that wasn't going to happen, and, and so the next year and a half, just about, we worked almost, almost every night, and uh, there was always a, a little bit of a feud. And on top of that, he was very jealous. So, uh, and uh, there was a guy that nobody remembers, I'm sure. It's called the Junkyard Dog. Mm. He's my tag team partner very often, and he loved to rib also, and so do I. And Randy would be so uptight, and. Uh, JYD would throw the little barbs at him and uh, just, you know, tease him a little bit. And I would always, just before I go to the ring, he would uh, be so uptight because we'd always be doing something with Elizabeth. That's my wife. You got to. And I'd say, hey, I got a daughter. I got a daughter older than her. Uh, relax. But just as I'd leave, I'd say, but boy, I've had some runs with some of these young broads around here and leave. And he was like, and I'm gone. So I had him right where I wanted him. When he'd come to the ring, fired up. Fired, I mean, really fired up. <laughs> so there was. So he even had legit jealousy with the old man, the good-looking old man. Well, I'm <laughs> that's unbelievable, who right? Was no, I didn't mean from that. <laughs> no, I am. I <laughs> met with somebody who he's going to work so closely with. Oh, absolutely. For so long, this isn't some young stud walking into the company trying we were to take in, his we wife. Were, we it's a in, guy he knows no, no, for no, years. No, he loved his wife. He truly loved his wife, and I think the biggest mistake that a lot of guys made in the uh, 80s, was they brought their wives into the business. Not a good idea. Yeah. Not a good idea. And uh, most of those ended up in a disaster later on because the wives did not become part of the work. I mean, come on. But she was always uh, good to work with. Oh, yes. She, Elizabeth was. Down for, down for anything you wanted to uh, do. Here, here's what would happen. I'd be standing up like this here. Elizabeth would be here. Randy would be there. We're talking. He would get between us, push her out of the way. <laughs> I'm telling you. This is in the locker room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You just didn't want anybody. He, he, he was conquering space with Elizabeth. It was just a real uptight thing, which made it easy to work with. Yeah. Stop and think about it because it was a real jealousy. 